Uh, basically, in this session, we'll talk about three big uh, rare diseases. One is Waldostrom disease, the other is amyloidosis, and then systemic mastocytosis. And the committee shows, I mean, decided to um, uh, face with these three diseases for two main reasons. The first one is that despite these diseases are rare, they can be more important when we have um, more network to work together. So it's important to uh, refer patients to the um, referral centers, of course. And the other point is that uh, we need uh, a team of different physicians, not only the hematologist, but also the dermatologist or the nephrologist or the uh, allergologist, for example, uh, just to um, help our patients to um, receive the correct diagnosis and also the right um, you know, path to be treated and cured in the, um, the correct way. So the idea is just to put together the different aspects of rare disease to understand the, the same method, the same approach should be used. That means to convey the right diagnosis, the multidisciplinary approach, the um, you know, uh, exchange of ideas between different physicians, and to take care of patients as a team and not only uh, as the single hematologist or the single uh, professional. Um, the other uh, crucial point is that uh, we have more and more advances in the biology of rare disease just because we are working as a team. And we are working together in large networks because we can collect samples, we can understand the microenvironment of rare disease. And in this way, we can um, try to have or try to give more immunotherapy. Uh, to our patients without use in chemotherapy.